America. Hey, let's go to the Okie Jeep Jam. Let's roll. My story is the story of a man who starts off at the bottom and with a bit of hard work, continues along the bottom and finally ends up at the bottom. Hey, this is Classic Cars and Comics. Thank y'all very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's roll. Now, this video is not an all-inclusive video, but it's going to show sort of what we did, where we went while we were at the 2022 Oki Jeep Jam in Muskogee, Oklahoma. Now, there were, this felt like way more Jeeps in attendance this year as opposed to last year. Last year was my first year to go, 2021, but my parents went the year before in 2020. And I believe that this show has just continued to grow as the years have went along. Now, I'm going to slide in here in just a second after we look at these custom Jeeps and show you what their app looked like. I sort of discovered this late in the weekend, but it's actually a really cool application that you could go in and sort of see the schedule of events, see what's going on. I have a better way of sort of determining how many people were at this event, and it allowed you to sort of better be connected to the event itself. So let's look at that. So this is a look at the app, the Welcome to the Oki Jeep Jam app. Um, it did take place from October 21st through the October 23rd. It was at Hatbox Field. Um, pretty cool little app for being able to get in there and sort of see what the schedule of events were. This actually started at 7 a.m. on Friday. I think something went on on Thursday as well, but I could be wrong on that. But here's just a brief overview as I'm just sort of thumbing through here on what the... Um, schedule of events were there was also a social feed to where uh, people could go in there post comments and stuff like that and then there was a attendees list and most importantly sort of the way i was able to keep track of how many people i think were at this year's event was because at least here's 477 so everyone gets a number for whenever they register and the high number I've seen so far is 477 I wouldn't be surprised if that number is not higher though I'm just going off of who won so I would expect that somewhere around 500 Jeeps were at least in attendance and from a clip that I have coming up you're going to be able to see that that uh, <laughs> that is not a stretch of the imagination to believe that uh, 500 Jeeps there. There's 492. So I think we're very safe to say that there were at least that many. But there's a look at the app that they sort of had set up for this year. So this is more of a look at just some of the customized Jeeps that are there from various years. I think I've seen everything from CJs all the way up to JKs, JKUs, JTs that were in this area. And they were all for show. And obviously hundreds of thousands of dollars are spent on all these Jeeps to get them customized to people's likings. So now I'm gonna be quiet for just a little bit and just sort of let y'all go through what the rest of the show looked like and what some of the vendors looked like. hop back in real quick this was the coolest camper i have seen she went in there and put a cot in there took out the full bed put a cot in to give herself the you know the appearance of more room and it it does give you the feel that this camper is actually larger in size than what it is um, all the cooking was outside just really a cool camper really liked it
So the Project Tribute Foundation was also there. I talked to one of their representatives, really nice guy. This is primarily based off of officers, firemen, and military who have lost their lives in the line of duty just this year. This font is very small and names are on both sides of this Jeep. Um, they work off of donations and they are trying to put trauma kits, tourniquets, trying to put those in hands of smaller departments in essence. This next set of videos is primarily going to show us just how many Jeeps were there. This is something that if we go back again next year, this is something that we're going to participate in. Um, it's just too cool not to. They leave from this location at the airfield and they head over to the uh, Veterans uh, Memorial Hospital, I believe that's where they were en route to. This gives you the sort of the grander scale of how many Jeeps were there. As far as I could see, sort of to the right and then back to the left, just Jeeps, 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 Jeeps. And this is them leaving the location. Now I'm going to go into some hyperspeed stuff here to where I just try to time lapse it and get through to sort of show you really how many Jeeps are there. Let's watch. Got cars. That's a lot of jeeps. I think the wind was blowing at a speed of blow the hat right off your head that day. The wind was crazy. Now I didn't actually go over to the playground and video any this year, so check out my last year's video to show you what that looked like in detail. Over the course of the past year, I've been getting a '99 Wrangler Sport in shape and in order to be able to go to this event. This is videos of my mother and I, uh, she's in a gladiator and I'm in the TJ. This is us going through trail one and trail two. Also, if you'd like to watch videos of that, I have it here on my channel so that you can watch videos of the progression. In my unprofessional opinion, trail one is primarily set up for those that, you know, can maneuver a couple obstacles. You m probably could do this in a stock Jeep, um, but definitely having a little lift ain't bad. Now trail number two is a little bit more aggressive. Now nothing so aggressive that I messed up anything, but you could have the potential for messing up stuff if you really wanted to on trail two. So trail two was a little bit more aggressive. I believe that's exactly how it was last year as well. Um, they've just come in here, cut a path through the woods, if you will, and some creeks, and they're letting you uh, maneuver those obstacles.
about halfway through trail two, they had this big open field that you could pull off into, let other people pass if you'd like, or there was a huge stump out there that you could drive up and over. Um, here's another obstacle that I'm getting into right here where it's like this double drainage whistle, if you will. And you can see I'm flexing both ways and then just punch it, get up the hill. And I'm laughing because I'm having fun. Uh, I did swap seats a couple different times with the wife and let her drive over some obstacles. She's got his Jeep as well, but hers is probably too nice to be able to take in and out of here. Um, so she did not bring her Jeep on this trip. But uh, I did let her drive a couple different times, drive over some obstacles just to get the feel of things. This is steep. so much more aggressive whenever you're trying to navigate it because you're completely blind until about right here yeah she's doing right I'm gonna let the better half try this one As I'm not watching, as I'm stepping. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. See me wipe out. Oh, hey, pull it more, pull it more. Unbeknownst to us this year, it had changed from last year, and you actually needed an appointment to be set up to go to Gruber OHV part. My mom had somehow signed up for one on her registration, but we had not for ours, which was not 
in retrospect is not a terrible thing just due to another video that I'll be releasing on my channel coming up showing why that probably worked out for the best that I wasn't able to go into the part. But if you want to check out that video from last year, I went through there and um, we didn't need an appointment. We didn't need a time. We just showed up out there and we were able to go through the beginner course, if you will. So that was the only thing that I, you know, I wish it would have been a little bit clearer for my wife to have seen that we needed to register for that. But at least my mom got to see it and do it. So another great uh, Okie Jeep Jam. I think we'll probably go back again next year just to check it out one more time and uh, go from there. But thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I uh, love you all a long time.